Hello and welcome to Campus to Community, the Columbia Basin College news magazine to keep you informed of what's happening at CBC and how we might better serve you. On today's show, we're going to learn about the Don't Quit Workshop. It's a program for those struggling to keep things together due to a, a recent event that has been a negative in their life. We'll hear from the instructor of the program, Bonnie Roseberry, and later, the story of Holly Hughes, a former student who changed her life through the Don't Quit Workshop. But first, we're going to talk about a new service at Columbia Basin College called Hawk Central. And with us to share it with us is Kelsey Myers, who is the director of the program. Kelsey, welcome to the show. Thanks, Frank. So first of all, what is Hawk Central? Well, this past year, the college has been uh, working on developing Hawk Central, and Hawk Central is a, um, basically a central point in student services for students to come and get their questions answered. They'll have the opportunity to get questions answered from things like financial aid to getting started to other things related to maybe their classes that they're unsure about. And they'll have the opportunity to meet with one of our Hawk Central specialists that will help get um, answers to their questions. So why did uh, CBC decide to implement Hawk Central? One of the main reasons is students um, were telling us that they were feeling like they were having this ping pong effect, meaning that they were um, being sent to different departments to get their questions answered. Um, and so we wanted to make sure that students could come to one place to get a majority of their questions answered. We're also really trying to focus on customer service and helping students get further faster. So let's take, take us through this. Uh, a student comes in, uh, what process does a student go, for, go through when they come to Hawk Central? Right, so when they basically, uh, first of all, Hawk Central is located on our Pasco campus uh, in the Student Services H building. And uh, when a student first, first walks in, they'll, have, uh, they'll be greeted by one of our student triage workers who will um, ask them what they're there to, um, what questions they have. At that point, this, if the student triage can help them, they will. Uh, if not, then they'll be put on a queue where they'll have the opportunity to meet with one of our specialists to get their questions answered. Well, talk about them. What, who are the Hawk Central staff? So we have uh, four specialists um, that come with us with a variety of backgrounds. Uh, one uh, they, all, they all share is a customer service training. Uh, but the last three and a half months, they have been doing specialized training in financial aid, um, registration, admissions, and cashiering. And so, you know, what's really special about this is, for example, this last week we had a student that came in returning to the college. Uh, he needed to turn in his application. He needed to find out information about his financial aid and pay an application fee. In the past, he would have had to have visited three different departments to get all of his questions answered, where this week he was able to actually get all those questions answered in one area. Fantastic. Thanks, Kelsey. Hawk Central now open then. Okay, well, coming up, if you've had something n not good in your life lately and you just can't seem to get things together, well, we might have the answer for you with the Don't Quit Workshop. That's coming up next. Welcome back. We all have problems in our lives, but when those problems start having significant negative impacts on us, 
we often need to go to help. And the help here at Columbia Basin College is a program called the Don't Quit Workshop. And we're glad to have our instructor with us today, Bonnie Roseberry. Bonnie, welcome. Thank you for having me. Don't Quit Workshop. What is the Don't Quit Workshop? Don't first? Quit Workshop is a series of three-hour sessions where we do a combination of instruction and activities to help people to overcome obstacles in their lives, to um, increase their confidence and their um, self-esteem and their ability to realize, you know, no matter what comes in life, I can handle it. And we also do some problem-solving uh, skill building and some communication skill building and we even have a section where people have the opportunity to explore what kind of career they might want to go into. Wow. And is this how you help uh, people look at life a little differently than they have been? Absolutely. It's a lot about um, where sometimes we can get stuck in this um, picture of who we are based on our problems and who we are isn't what our problems is. <laughs> And so this is really to look at, okay, so maybe things aren't how you think they are. Look deep inside in a safe place where they can explore that and be able to see who they really are from new eyes sometimes. Now, is it difficult sometimes in the Don't Quit Workshop to get students to uh, open up and really talk about their problems or is that even necessary? You know, what I do in the very beginning is set up a safe place for them to be able to explore. In fact, that's one of the things that a lot of students will say at the end was, I felt really safe to talk about my stuff here. And so a lot of them know it's not an issue at all. And some people are just a little more introverted than others, and they maybe don't say so much. But um, what happens in the class, they have plenty of opportunity to process internally as well as externally if that works for them better. Mm -hmm. And how are the don't quit workshops funded because they're not state funded are they? That's correct. They have always been funded by community and grants and private donations sometimes. Currently and since 2007 we've been almost a hundred percent funded by the PDQ Foundation which is a group of people that came together to make sure this program stayed in effect and that it was available to people and also to offer um, grants to other people who are offering programs that help people overcome obstacles. Fantastic and when is the next Don't Quit Workshop? The next workshop starts February 11th and it's a morning workshop so it meets 9 to noon Monday, Wednesday and Friday through March 22nd. Fantastic and you can call the number on your screen for more information. So Bonnie thanks for being with us. Thanks Frank. And stay with us because we're going to be talking with one of Bonnie's former students who changed her life because of the Don't Quit Workshop right after this. Welcome back. We're talking about the Don't Quit workshops at Columbia Basin College and how they've helped turn people's lives around who've been in some difficult situations. And right now we have one of those stories and her name is Holly Hughes. Holly, welcome. Thank you. Holly, why don't you just give us a little idea of what you had gone through before you came to the Don't Quit workshop? Sure. My story um, was not unlike many stories of the people that walk through the doors of this workshop. Um, whether it's the loss of a spouse or loss of a job or any of the other traumatic pitfalls that we all come across in our day-to-day -day lives, um, we didn't anticipate being where we were being, and neither did I. I didn't plan on one day waking up and uh, after a 19-year marriage, being a 40-year-old divorced woman, mother of three, uh, with no college education, and it was very daunting. and it, made me think 
maybe I just couldn't do this. Maybe this was just too big of a problem. And I found myself in a very dark place and I needed help to get me out of there. And you came to Don't Quit Workshop. Were you um, hesitant at all about taking it, about revealing yourself perhaps? Sure, I think everybody is, has a little bit of hesitation in, in exposing their private life like that. But it was a very great experience. It was a very safe place. The, my fellow students were just absolutely fantastic. And what I, I maybe expected, I didn't find. Maybe I expected, I don't know what I'm going to find, a, a room full of naysayers or boohooers or, you know. Uh, but that's not what I found. What I found was a beautiful. I found uh, wonderful people who were willing to share their stories. I saw epiphanies being made and light bulbs going off. And, and that was true for me too. And I drew a lot of inspiration from my fellow classmates. Mm -hmm. what, what would you say to someone uh, about the attitude that you need to have going into this? Uh, what I would like to uh, portray to your viewers is that you don't need to find yourself. You don't need to get to that dark place before you seek out this type of education because that's what really this workshop is about. It's about educating yourself about how your mind works and, and why we do make the choices that we do. Maybe make it a preemptive strike because we don't have a crystal ball and any one of us could wake up tomorrow with um, an obstacle that seem, is seemingly un you know, not being able to um, go over. So if you arm yourself and you fill your toolbox with the tools and the knowledge of how to use those, maybe you won't end up in, in that place at all. But to come to these workshops with an open mind and the, um, the ability to open yourself up to the process, it, it's amazing what can happen. Tell us about what's amazing. How has it changed your life? I am a different person. I can honestly sit here and say I'm a different person than when I went in there. Um, just being able to learn about different perspectives of people and perceptions of people, opening up lines of communication and opening up your ability to dream again, to say, you know, I can do that. That is not an unattainable goal. I can be a, a a person that can be a role model for my children and be a productive member of society. I can do that and that's what I got out of it. Thank you so much for sharing your story. I know a lot of people will get something out of it today. I hope so. And thank you for being with us and that's Campus Stu Community.